Hey, trainers, Pope Dad here, along with the dancing bear at first base. KK Shiv on to it. Great beast in his natural habitat. That's right. On today's show, we have some exciting news. Yeah. That we would like to go over the newest <laughs> cards and the sets coming out in October. I know, I know, October's so far away, but yet, very exciting. Exciting times were, are ahead of us here. Right? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Very exciting. So, we're not going to go over every single card. So, if y'all are wanting that, afraid to disappoint, I'm not spending three hours here looking at the screen talking about each card. So, however, we are going to discuss each competitive card, right? Mm-hmm. Or at least cards we feel will make a splash in the competitive scene. And Tanglia is not one of those cards. So let's move on. Let's move to... You can feel free to jump in here if uh, you see something. Okay. I like uh, <laughs> Grooveile's uh, ability. Search your deck for one grass and reveal it so you can immediately grab your Sceptile for the following turn. You like that ability? or Sounds pretty good. Or you can grab another Trico or Grovile to grab something else. Yeah. I actually like the Septa line, right? And I like, uh, you know, Trico's attack. You know, it just helps stream the stage two, it seems like, right? Yes. Very much like uh, kind of Gardevoir did. Yeah. So. And so Septile is pretty good, too. Septile GX. Let's go to it. One Grass... 60 discard a special energy. Sounds sounds solid, right? Yeah, especially against Zorak decks that are only running four DCs. Or Zorak that are predicted to be fairly good, um, but they should be running basic. Uh, only a couple fighting. basic, though. So, second attack, two grass, leaf cyclone, 130, move one grass from this Pokemon to one of your bench. I don't like the moving the grass type deal because then you got to find another grass for the following turn but it keeps it safe yeah i mean it keeps your energy on the board i get it i mean um, if it gets knocked out then then your next subtitle all you do is attach one grass and you're ready to do the leaf cyclone again two energy for 130 is really good in my opinion mm-hmm. um we're looking at choice band 160 and then Lorantis promo 180 yeah so, I'm liking it. I think it's good. I think it's good. One shot's uh, liking rock. So, I'm a little iffy on the GX attack because we've seen Tapu Cure like in the Zork Garbodor decks, and I don't. I've never used Tapu Cure. And you have a couple times. Mm. I have a couple times. I mean, it's not one of the best. But I like this GX better than Tapu Cure because it's any Pokemon with grass attached. Yeah. And if you're moving grass around to something that's maybe damaged, and then you could do the GX. So, I don't know. Sets it up. I, li- I like Subtle, right? I do like Subtle. I think it's playable. Um, I like this first... Something else to note with this first attack. It hits 120 against Regirock. Mm-hmm. That uh, could be good. So... I, I definitely think it's playable. Um, weak to fire, there's not much fire, so but that's about to change folks. Um yeah, what else you got on Septal? Uh HP is also really good. We've seen it on Gardevoir also. It was really good on her, so And Shift really Tree I think has two thirty, right? I think it has two forty. Oh does it? Okay. Nice try. But there's a lot of positives to this card. I think it could be playable. One retreat cost. One retreat cost, yep. That's really good. So, I like it. Mm-hmm. So, moving on. Um, not feeling any of the butterfly stuff. Not feeling the, the jazz. Oh, it's Vespaquin. I know. It's so disappointing. I like Vespaquin, but uh, that's that's terrible. And they gave her a retreat cost of two. Uh, yeah, I mean, so disappointing. But oh well, maybe next time. Um, okay, this is interesting to note. 
the new Alolan Vulpix. If you have a fairy Pokemon in play, this Pokemon has no retreat. I still think you play Beacon. Mm-hmm. Especially with Gardevoir. Well, little spoiler, but... No spoilers, but I mean... uh, when you compare this one to uh, the other Vulpix with Beacon, I think you still play Beacon. Mm-hmm. And in case you're wondering about why is it fairy when it's water, well, you're about to... And it's the only water Pokemon. Yeah, you're about to come to something very, very special. So, hold on tight. Should it... Yeah, this this is the interesting one. We it's haven't a, we quite think... figured out. Uh, it's like a life do. So, I think it fits in the Vespaquin deck, right? Yeah, it could. And then once it gets discarded, that's 20 more damage. Yeah, because, I mean, you discard the basic, right? Discard all cards attached to this Pokemon and attach it as a tool. So I'm thinking you discard the basic into the discard pile, and then that, just the stage one attaches to Vespaquin. Or Zark or whoever. Still a total of 20 more damage. I like it. I like it in Vespaquin deck. Um, I can't see it being played in anything else. Can you? No, not really. Nothing in standard that pops out at us. You know? I, I mean, you could do it in, like, uh, the spread decks that are run just, like, one prize attackers. You could do it in something like that, maybe. I don't know. Attach it to, like, Tapu Coco or something. But I, I think it's, uh... I think it could definitely... It definitely has a place in the Vespaquin deck. So, keep your eye out on that. Sableye... We think it's okay, right? I don't really think it's that good. I think it's okay. Search your deck for any one card and put it into your hand. Hoping that you start with it. I think it could be good in standard because there's limited uh, disruption. They have to play judge, you know? Yeah. So I actually think he's better in standard than... uh, Expanded? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, fast hunt, you could grab Apricorn Maker and next turn play it if they don't judge or something. Yeah. Or if you have Apricorn Maker, you could do that on your first turn and then maybe you don't have a draw supporter, you grab it with this. I, I'm okay with this in standard. But why not just use Stun Spores? Stun Sparse. I, I'm not sold on the Dun Sparse. I know people say it's good, but we're going to run into the same problem that we did as Glaceon and uh, Leafeon, where you have to spend so many resources to just to get it into the active. So, I, I don't know. We haven't really tested Dunsparce that much to know, but I'm just kind of theory modern. I'm not a fan mm-hmm. of Dunsparce. I, I would rather uh, Apricorn Maker and Nest Balls. So, but anywho, Garatina. Wow. Yeah, that's a pretty good card. Wow, folks. Um, Zorak and Expanded is back, folks. The days of, like, uh, Execute, Propagate, and all that. Well, now you can just basically propagate this back, and it puts a damage counter on two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So discard it with Trade, grab it back, put it on your bench, it... It adds damage counters, and it boosts Zorak's uh, attack by 20. Perfect. And I like its attack. And like a Malamar deck, how they ran the other uh, Giratina, I think its attack is pretty good. But four damage counters on one of your Pokemon. Ooh. Yeah, so might want to tap the brakes <laughs> on that. <laughs> Never mind. But with Zorak, I mean, this is going to be really good, folks. Yeah. Definitely. So, Zork Expanded is back whenever this comes out, folks. It may take a little bit of a back seat here, but October rolls around. Be ready for Garatina. Sigilib GX ability, Mirror Counter. If this is your active Pokemon and gets damaged by an attack by your opponent's Pokemon EX GX, but damage counters are the same amount of damage the attack did on the attacking Pokemon. 
First attack, Psychic, DCE, Sonic Wing, 80, not affected by resistance. GX attack, 60 times uh, for each energy attached to your opponent's active. So, what what do you think about this? I think it'd go great into a spread deck. I agree completely. This, this card is really good, folks. I mean, you, you have to Guzma around it. I mean, think about, uh, you know, Bursting Balloon only did 60, but this could do, you know, like 100 into Zork, and then Choice Band, and you uh, kill it, right? Resistance. So, yeah, so, um, then, you know what I'm talking about. You said 100. Just go with it. You know what I'm saying. Killing me. Work with me, not against me. Your numbers me. were off. It doesn't matter. They know what I'm talking about. Zork attacks into it. This attacks back. It's a knockout. So, yeah, spread deck, and then you can spread all that damage around, and then move it around with Lele. I mean, I think it's really good. Mm-hmm. So, um, that's what we're thinking, though, right? Spread deck is the best way to use this guy? Yeah. Or anything that needs like a wall, how like Tauros was used. Or like how the Donphan decks would put up the old Sigilif. Mm -hmm. You put this up and it does the damage. Yeah. It definitely shies away from uh, like the decks that can just one hit KO, like the Ultra Necrozma, the. Uh, I mean, they're still getting hit by 170 damage. No, because if they do more than 170, they get hit back with it. So they do 200 damage, and they're getting hit back with 200. Mm. Okay. So, I like it. I think it's good. Um, I think it could be good in any sort of setup deck to just put it up there and buy it a turn or two to get set up. Yeah. So, then you could always ace roll it up if you don't... See, that's what would be good in the spread deck. Is you put it up, and then it gets... It gets hit, but it doesn't get knocked out because it it's weak to lightning. But that's bad, as we're about to find out. But it resists fighting. Um, it doesn't get knocked out, right? Mm -hmm. And so you ace roll it up, and then you put it back down. And they have to attack into it again. And they're gonna have to Guzma around it. There's no way. There's mm -hmm. no. There's no way else, right? So. Garbador. No, Gar no, there's no Garbo Toxin. So, it's really good. Not even Wob Effect can stop so, it. So, I'm not liking it. Mm. There it is, folks. <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh my gosh. Wow. Folks, right now, I want you to go over to the shelf. I want you to grab your Gardevoir deck that's been on the shelf for about six months now. I want you to take it and I want you to go and just blow all that dust off, okay? Open it up and take out the 2-2 Octillery, okay? And then take out uh, your one Orangaroo or whatever else or your, your Vulpix or whatever. Take that card out and then make three proxies of or some sorry two proxies of this and then oh, well you could leave your bull picks in but you're gonna run a three two line in your Gardevoir deck so three two nine tails and then a, a four two three uh, Gardevoir and then one Glade but a Glade rotates so no Glade so there you go there's your three two and you're just gonna absolutely just steamroll everything but metal decks, right? Mm -hmm. And the reason why its ability mysteriously once during your turn when you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may search your deck with two item cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand, shuffle your deck. First attack, fairy colorless, white, silver wind, 70. And it does 30 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. GX attack, very colorless. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an Ultra Beast, it is knocked out. 
How ridiculously awesome is this card? That card is super good. Especially with the next couple cards that we're going to... Next I mean, couple fairy items. I mean... Pairs super well. You evolve it. You immediately grab your Ultra Ball Rare Candy. Boom. Card of four. Or you could just keep the chain going. Grab your Ultra Ball plus something else you need, like Rare Candy. Ultra Ball... Put in another one of him, and then you just keep it going. Yeah. Uh, you could just stream the nine tails to get everything set up, every piece you need. I mean, wow. That. And then you're setting up for just two energy. You're setting up the numbers for Gardevoir. Uh, choice band hundred, and then thirty to a bench. It's like a night spear. But I mean, I'm discounted. Yeah, you're weak to metal, and metal's gonna be good. You resist dark. Right now, dark's not being played. But I mean, unless you're sitting across from metal, how do you? How does something deal with this? They don't. They lose. <laughs> Can't really think of a way that they can deal with it. What's the term you youngins use? This is busted. Slaughtered. This is this card is busted. I think that's the term you youngins use. This is busted. Or broken. Right? I think it's broken. Broken and busted. All right. Well, all of the above. Go get them. Go get at least two. Run a 3-2. Um, the new Ralts. One fairy, put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. I like it. Yeah. Only 50 HP. But, I mean, we're not looking at... Uh, strong energies in the format and stuff like that so I think I think you run this one over the other one right yeah it's a tag is pretty good just double up on the beacons I wish uh, I like the psychic for mysterious treasure though yeah if it's still in format no, it may not be in format it gets rotated okay then you have to play this one Curlia guard for is pretty good okay guard for it. here's your glade replacement Brilliant search, search your deck for three cards, put them into your hand. So it's Sylveon's attack. Yep. Seems pretty good. Sensitive race, 70 plus. If you play a supporter card, 90 more. So we're at 160, choice band, 190. And if you have the other guard for you can attach a fairy and then a DC and it's Se already set up. Secret Spring, yep. Really, really good, folks. There's your non GX attacker. Oh man, Gardevoir is gonna be so good. Buy your Gardevoirs now, folks. If you don't already have them, buy your Gardevoirs and get ready for the Nine Tails. It's pre-order. Busted. Oh. You heard it first. Xerneas Prism Star. Let's just add to the bustedness, okay? Ability Life Road. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon was on your bench and becomes your active Pokemon, you may move as many energy cards as you like from your Pokemon into play to this one. So weakened Alolan, Ninetales, or weakened Gardevoir, we can just move it on over here, use Brighthorn for three fairy one sixty. And then choice band one ninety. So do you see a one of in the Gardevoir deck or not needed? I don't I'm not I, sure if it's needed. I could see it two of it's only a prism. It a prism. Um we'd have to test, but I don't think it's needed. I think I would just Go in with uh, Gardevoir for three energy. Uh, You're doing the same mount 160. Yeah, it has more HP. Is it the same? Yeah, it is. I think you could play one. I'd be okay with that. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, and if there's any special condition, then put it to the bench to the active. Now here's uh, interesting. If it's on your bench, prevent all effects of your opponent's supporter cards to your fairy phone. So, I mean, mm. I don't see a 1-1 one -one going just to avoid Guzma, do you? No. I mean, I think you're going to be steamrolling everything except metal, so I wouldn't worry about that. Mimikyu GX, another fairy Pokemon. Perplex, your opponent's active is now confused. Bip Bop Fall 10 plus does 30 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So, 
Um, Just run the sigil if, if you're thinking about spread deck. So, uh, say I was thinking this with the sigil if. Then you have to mix the energies because sigil if takes psychic and this takes fairy. Well, you wouldn't attack with sigil if you just uh, use this guy, right? One retreat cost and sigil if has one retreat cost, right? Mm hmm. I think the sigil if has one retreat cost. I don't know. I'm, I'm confused about it. And then it's GX Tech. Shuffle one of your opponent's bench cards yeah, uh, into their deck. Um, I don't think it's that good. Don't put it in your guard of war. I don't, but, I mean, when when Pokemon makes these uh, these cards like this, they have something going on in their mind or down the uh, pipeline to where this will be good. It just, normally it takes like a year for them to make the actual card or for everyone to figure out the combo. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't know. I, yeah. Right now, I don't think it's good, but it could be down the road. And the health is a little concerning. Just 170. Tap a Lele. I don't like this. Play the other one if... You, you wouldn't play either one in the uh, fairy deck. You're already one shot in Rayquaza, so... Kecleon. Netball. Search your deck for one basic grass Pokemon or one basic grass. Reveal it. Shovel. Feelings on this? Uh, good with the Sceptile. Sceptile or Shiftry. I, I like it. Mm -hmm. Or Alolan Executor. I like it. I think I think it's playable in the grass decks. <laughs> I uh, guess that's really the only thing I could see it in. See what I did there? Adventure bag, what we got? I think it's pretty good. Search your deck for two tool cards, reveal them, put them into your hand. So, there's a new Genesect that can have two tools attached. Reminds me of the other one where you can... Yeah, you can attach swap them out. Swoop. So... I like that. That, but something a little offbeat. What about a Gorgeist? 50 damage for each tool you discard. Yeah. I like it. I can see that. They're slowly starting to make stuff with the Rotom and Gorgeist. I mean, if you can load up a couple, you know, four tools, that's 200 damage with the Gorgeist for a DCE. The, I think the hard part would be getting all the tools into your deck. Because you'd have to run a lot of tools. Not really. Rotom's already... Nine you know. tools? No, what they, no, they run more than that. You'd it, run like no, it four, takes nine. You'd run like four skateboards, four hustle belts, four choice bands. So there's twelve. Yeah. I don't know. They they keep making these cards, and eventually Gorgeist is going to be the new Night March. <laughs> so that sucks. I'm okay with it. We need something like that. Okay. So it's all good. All right, spell tag no. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nah. No. Okay. Nah. All right, fairy charm. This. Psychic, yes. The psychic, yes, 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 yes. Pick up these. Pick up two, so you can grab them with your nine tails and attach to Gardevoir. Now you don't have to worry about Malamar decks. Yep. Definitely like the psychic charm, right? Mm-hmm. Fighting charm. I'm okay with the fighting charm. It does not get damage from your opponents. Wow, so let's just give them full protection from psychic and fighting. I think it's an order from best to worst. Top being the best, worst being the bottom. Right now, yeah, psychic's going to get the most use because uh, Malamar is still going to be solid in rotation, fighting. Um, we've got something Buzzwall. down the pipeline with uh, Buzzwall. Buzzwall and Kakui to... Uh, supplement the uh, loss of strong energy and Macargo. Indeed, and Macargo. So smooth over, put something on top, hit your Kukui to do your 20 more damage, draw the card you smooth over. I like it. Seems pretty juicy. I like it. Replaces Octillery pretty good. So, uh, I'm on the fence about the fighting, but for sure pick up the Psychic Dragon. Not needed. You are going to absolutely... Crush Rayquaza with yep. your Gardevoir deck. Morty, you can only play this if one of your psychic Pokemon got knocked out during your turn. Look at your opponent's hand, choose two cards you find there, and shuffle them. I like this. Mm -hmm. I like it in the Malamar. I don't think I could see it in any other deck. 
Um, there's other there's or, spread there's list? spread garbage door decks. Yeah. Spread trash lands decks. So, um, Mina search your deck for a fairy energy and attach it to your Pokemon not needed. Because you could play Lady and grab four and then secret spring them all in. Um, Life Forest. Once during your turn, you can heal 60 in all special conditions from one of your grass. Uh, this card's not affected by supporter or item, so no delinquent, no field blower. It has to be another stadium that uh, bumps it. I think it's pretty good for the Sceptile deck. I think it could. It's got so much health. I mean, you could combo this with uh, even Leafeon to heal a, what? 110. 110. Yeah. So I could see a Leafeon Sceptile. Mm-hmm. So. And you're switching the energy so you can heal what's needed. Because isn't Leafeon once, like... Once per turn, heal 50 from something on your bench with a grass energy attached to it. Yeah. Or is it a grass Pokemon? No, it's uh, 50 to... I don't know. I don't know. It's 50 to something. Whether it has grass attached or not, I don't know. So, best card in Fairy Rise? Um, I'd say... I think, it, I think it's one yeah it's clearly nine tails okay folks don't let his uh hesitation fool you I mean I was thinking between it and Sigilyph I think yeah I agree I think Sigilyph is the second best card in the set third best I think is the Garatine yeah. I think I think Garatine is the third best and then after that the uh psychic Girl. fairy charm is what I was gonna say I was gonna say the Gardevoir yeah, you can make an argument for the Gardevoir. Yep. I can say the Gardevoir or the uh, Psychic Fairy Charm. So, really good set. Very excited for the Nine Tails. Mm -hmm. We will be playing Gardevoir Nine Tails, guarantee. We'll either play that or we'll hard count with uh, Metal. Yep. So. Okay, Thunderclap. I like this set. Oh my goodness, there he is. Well, you're blocking the ability and the attack. Wow. Once during your turn, when you play this card from your hand to your bench, you may search your deck for three basic energy cards and discard them, then shuffle your deck. One grass, energy drink, attach two basic energy cards from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. I think my favorite combo is it with Zork Exeggutor. Yep. Grab three different color energy, throw them in the discard. And he does what twenty more for each. Yeah, so that's so right there is an immediate 80. sixty, 80. and his attack for because he does twenty plus. Yes. What? Immediate sixty when it's immediate eighty. Immediate sixty immediate in the discard. 80. You discard three, so yeah. that's an immediate sixty in the discard pile. Sixty plus the twenty. No, it's an immediate sixty in the discard. <laughs> to me. So what are you talking about? Immediate. Nobody says immediate 60 in the discard pile. I just did. I just did. So don't say that. <laughs> no say one says that. Because I just did. You're the only one. That That's fine. That, mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. So. Zorark. Executor. Yes. Is that another uh, caterpillar? And uh, the other set. Obviously, he combos super well with Rayquaza. And the, another card that... And another like, card that I'm really excited about. Mm -hmm. So, Shuckle... I mean, when you think about that ability, when you first read it, why would I grab three energy and put them in the discard? Well, there's combos coming up. Turtinator. Tur like Turtinator. That's, that's really, really good. Oyster, clams, and shuckles. It's oysters, clams, and shuckles. Arya Stark. If y'all get that reference. So, shuckle. A lot of new innovation and creativity going to be surrounding this guy. Okay. He's not going to be the focus of the deck, but however, he will allow for that creative juice to flow. Yep. 
So we definitely, definitely, definitely really, really like him. Yeah. Next, next card. Go get four. Go get four when they come out. Vrizian. Yeah. No, not good. No way, no. I don't really see. Bulu. Yeah. Okay. I like this. We like the Slugma, right? It has 10 more HP, and it has a nice DCE attack. Uh, stampede for 20, then Fire Fire, Colorless, Flamethrower, 60, discard one energy. Um, Mainly the first. First attack, because, I mean, in your Zorak deck, you're already playing Zorak with him, right? So you're already running DCE, and then if you run into, you know, your Sceptile deck or whatever, you can set up the numbers. DCE, Choice Band, 50, so that's 100. So now... Septals to 130. Okay. So he's in one shot range of your Zark. So we like this Slugma and it has 10 more HP. Mm -hmm. So this is the Slugma you play, right? I think the only thing that's worse is the retreat cost is one more and heavy ball is out of format. Yeah, but we're not heavy balling for anything on this. On the Zorak deck. Yeah. Nope. McCargo. I like this and expanded. Okay. Um, I can't remember what all the ways we came up with that we can make use with this guy. Yeah, uh, There's a card in the future that we can use. Uh, blacksmith. Uh, Kiawe. All right, let me read its ability. Once during your turn, you may discard the top card of your card. If that is a basic energy, attach it to one of your Pokemon. Fire, fire, colorless, 50 plus. That's key, 50 plus. Discard any amount of energy basic from any amount of basic energy from this Pokemon does fifty more damage for each card discarded this way. That was a mouthful. Magburn GX, discard the top five cards of your opponent's deck. I yeah. like that GX. I don't care for it. I mean against the Raquazas yeah. and the Zorak decks that are really thinning out their deck, just there goes your Guzmas. Yeah. Um I think he obviously combos well with uh, the other uh, Macargo, the non GX. For both their abilities. Yeah. The problem is, is only for Slugma. However, we've got a new Prism Star. Oh, spoiler. Dido. So. Dido. Dido. It's not Dido. What is it? It's Ditto. There's no D in it. Yes, it is. It's D I T T O. Ditto. Ditto. Dido. It's not Dido. It is Dido. <laughs> You're adding an extra D. Oh. Dido. All right, so that adds your fifth Slugma. Because we were thinking, um, if you have two of these guys and, say, two of the Smooth Overs, then you Smooth Over, you use his ability, right, and attach fire. Use another Smooth Over, use his ability, attach fire. And then you attach one fire from hand. Now you're doing the... Uh, 200. The 200. And what I like is this is any amount. Any amount. Yeah, so just imagine a key all way. You have four. Exactly. Attach five. And then exactly. you attach two more of Exactly. Macargo. So you could stream <laughs> attacks without having to use the ability. Just, I think it's good. Just don't get knocked out. I think it's really good. And, like, if something only has a couple HP left, just discard one and you hit him for 100. I think it's good with Blacksmith, too. I think that's what it's best with, Blacksmith. I think it's good with Blacksmith, because if you're discarding the energy, you can just put them right back on. Yeah. So, I, I, th I think he's playable. I think he's playable in Standard and Expanded. I think he's best in Expanded. He might be best in Expanded, but with the way... Uh, no, I'm not sitting here saying he's going to compete with Gardevoir, so don't... Mm, he might knock out a couple Gardevoirs. No, no. Three energies and a choice band. Um, 230, ooh. Eh. Three energies there, and There's more things to out. set up. There's more things. You're going to have to run heavy timer ball to get him, get him out. Nah. Would we pair him up with Zork? I don't know. Do you pair him up with Zork? I don't know. Pair him up with Metal. Start one shot in the Gardevoirs. Yeah, I mean, you can pair him up with Dusk. 
Well, that's in metal, isn't it? Who? Dustman. Yeah. The baby. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Anywho, <laughs> I know we're rambling here. Macargo's good. Ah, you can run over Victini. Nah, this uh, Victini is not good. Run the flippy one. It's each of your basics. That's no. Uh, it has to be basics and no evolve, so it won't go with Macargo. Poor thing. Power no. Lapras nope. Has the it has an alright ability. It's kind of like the uh, Muna. Or Masharna. No, no, it's not. It's like Masharna. You look no. at the top two cards and put them back in any order. Only Masharna would let you put one in their hand. Indeed. So, once again, quit arguing with me. You, well, you're wrong. You were talking about... I said it's like Masharna's. It's like Puzzle of Time. It's two, not three. It's one off. It's better than your Masharna. No, Masharna's two. <laughs> Masharna, you put one in hand. Well, Puzzle, you're looking at three. <laughs> <laughs> which one's closer? Yeah, leave in the comments which one's closer. Is it is it more like Masharna or is it more like Puzzle of Time? Puzzle of the Time. The first ability. So it's definitely not the second one. Um once during your hand, discard your hand, draw four. And I think that's pretty good. You do? I don't think it's that bad. Really? Yeah. No more artillery. I mean you get in down to one, you're like, ha I got fast gallop. Boom, discard that one, say, Ultra Ball. Then four fresh cards. Okay. Then you can play a supporter. Alright. I think it's better than a Rangaroo. That's one extra card. One extra card is a problem. Why is that a problem? Because it's one extra card. So, what deck does this go in? Everything. Put in the Macargo. Goes in the Vesperquin deck? Sure. Draw some okay, extra I like cards. it then. I like it then. Okay, a new type of Coco. Here he is. The yellow monkey. Yep. What you call him? We don't know how to say its name, so it's just monkey. <laughs> Zorora. Zorora. Zorora GX. Close enough. Monkey's better. All right, Yellow Monkey. Yellow Monkey is completely awesome, folks. He doesn't even know what he is. He's got Lapras attack. He's got. It. Uh, stop clicking on it. We oh, can't I'm see sorry. the attack or the I abilities just, I like, or anything. I like the Yellow Monkey's awesome. <laughs> He's yellow. It's got Turtonator's a uh, GX attack, and it's got. It's the normal type where it gives everything. Absolutely. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? I don't remember it. Sag Sagalio? Sagaleo? No. There's uh, Manaphy. Savali? <laughs> There's Manaphy that has, like, if you have water attached, it's free. Yeah, retreat. yeah, yeah. It's Manaphy's ability. <sighs> See what I had to work here. I forgot the name. See what I had to work with here. The Dancing Bear. I was close. Okay, so how awesome is this guy? Eh. You're, you're gonna want to combo him with Rayquaza, or he can be his own deck with the new Shuckle. And there's a new card coming out that's really good with him. So there's two cards actually. Oh. So you're hitting for 160, and it can't attack next turn, so you switch. But no problem because you're gonna have Lightning attached anyway, so he has free retreat. Oh yeah, there are so, two good cards. So you play your Shuckle. You drop three in the discard. Okay, now you can either attach to Shuckle and start powering up manually because you can grab two energy out of the discard or get another Shuckle and discard the Primark. I just Put him something. up, use his GX attack, now all of a sudden all five energy is in play. But there's actually three good cards coming up yeah. that can go with him. So he's really good. I think... Uh, Away from the metal decks, he's going to be your best option to compete with the Gardevoir decks, right? And he kind of counters the metal decks with resistance. So, yeah. So, I mean, this is a really good option. You're going to have a rock, paper, scissors with Gardevoir, metal decks, and then this guy. Now, whether he's best with Rayquaza or his own deck, I'm actually leaning more towards his own deck because mm -hmm. uh, the Rayquaza is just going to be a liability for the Gardevoirs and Ninetales, right? Yeah. 
So And you're just discarding resources. Because remember, Nine Tails can one shot the Rayquaza too. Yeah. Seventy and then Choice Man. So I think he's his own deck with the Shuckles, right? Yeah. And then we use the uh, the Next other little things. Nick cards with him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Duck Trio's interesting. Yeah, free not, attack I'll, for sixty. No. It's interesting. Interesting, but not good. Yeah, choice band ninety, and then that's one eighty <laughs> against Garvor. Mm. Okay. It's not a one shot. But... Well, it's certainly not just peanuts being thrown at him, her. <laughs> Um, it can be him. We got some more metal Weird, Pokemon. I mean, they're just just spitting out these metal Pokemon like crazy. It's my boy, Genesec. Genesec. You want to talk about him? I don't know. In Expanded, you can give him 260 HP. Kind of like that plan. Uh, this Pokemon can have two tool cards attached. Metal Metal Colorless, 130. Metal Metal Colorless, 190. Not affected. Um, it's good. It's solid. It's GX attack is good. It's second attack is good. It's ability is good. HP isn't that good. Yeah, the HP 180. Resistance to Psychic is good. Yeah, Resistance Psychic, that's really good. Only two retreat costs. I like it. Weakness to fire. What good fire Pokemon are there? I like that Mercury. just for three energy, it one shots all the... Uh, the Air fairy, Force. yeah, all the fairy threats. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I think it. Now, do we make our own deck around it, or with the adventure tool card, where we can grab two tools? Yeah. Run a whole bunch of tools. I think we could build our own deck around it. <gasps> Having a sneak peek. Okay. The Ditto. There it is. Ditto. So, once during your turn, you may put a stage one evolution card from your hand onto this Pokemon and evolve it. You can't use this ability during your first turn or the turn this uh, Pokemon was put into play. Just classic uh, evolution rules. So, I mean, we saw cards similar to this in uh, the Vespaquin decks I think it was early. Like, I think it was Ditto. Yeah. And then I think we'll see it with uh, Slugma and the Macargo. At least that's what we're thinking. Do you think of... Any other reason to play? I think it could definitely be in the cargo. I think he's good. It'll be your fifth Zork. I think it's limited. Yeah. There you go. It could be your fifth Zork. One stand in for. Or your fifth Zoro. No, it can be fifth Zork. If it wants to. So, that's good. We're just not sure how to use him. Imagine if you could play four. Electro Power. Here's the one good card that goes with the monkey. If your lightning Pokemon attack this turn, add 30 more damage. So your yellow monkey's now doing 190. No choice being needed. So, really good. Mm -hmm. Stand alone with the yellow monkey. Electric power, choice bands, shuckles. Yeah. Four shuckles, four yellow monkeys. Yeah. A couple leleys. Yep. There you go. Just don't start with lele. You got a winning formula. Um, Reprints. Her, uh, counter game. That was interesting. I like it. No, that was interesting. I like it. With we we kind of discussed. Yeah. As long as you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, the attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to is cost colorless less. So definitely interesting. Um, I kind of like the potential of just one energy hitting for 160. Um, what other attack that's colorless would we want to just eliminate? There's a Polion. There's one water or one metal. Yeah, there's lots of stuff. You can put in the Genesect, you can have it and another tool. Yeah, and just two metal. Or just put two choice fans and hit for 190. You attach it, don't you? Whatever you want to do. Uh, I, think it, I think it could be playable. I like it. Choice band, Kali, draw two cards. Mm -hmm. Sightseer, draw until you have five in your hand before drawing you may discard. Thunder Mountain Prism Star. Mm -hmm. 
Judge is Judge. There we go. There's our stadium. Each lightning Pokemon's attack costs lightning less while this card is in play. When lightning one has protection from supporter and item, so it has to be stadium bumped. So our yellow monkey now hits for lightning colorless. Energy so, gain lightning. So our GX attack just powers up two of them. So uh, really good, really really good, and that's good. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. glad to see lightning getting some love yeah. because it's been out of the format since what Manetric. Manetric. Yeah, yeah. Mega Manetric. Yeah, so, Manetric. Come on, we need to even things out here, folks. Then useless unit energy. <clears throat> they need to start giving Dark some love too. Yeah. Because it's been out of the mix for a while. Well, they have Zorak, I guess. That's the only dark thing, though. So, that's what we got. So, kind of real quick, your top three. In, in this set? In this set. Monkey. Yellow sure. Monkey. Okay. Yep. Zorora. Shuckle. Shuckle number two. Okay. And... like my cargo genesect the I think the stadium same yeah. okay I'm actually gonna go shuckle one mine weren't in order I'm just saying those three okay mine are in order shuckles one because so many decks can be created off his ability so it's not like he's just his standalone archetype he opens the door for like at least two or three archetypes yeah Rayquaza, the Yellow Monkey, and then Exeggutor. Mm -hmm. So there's there's just three archetypes off the top of our brain. So Shuckles, Shuckles my number one. Number two is my Yellow Monkey. My buddy. What's right your there. Type of cocoa? And oh, then spread deck. And then my number three. What like Ditto two? I think Ditto's good. Is where to where to go? My electric power. And you're only thinking about the yellow monkey. Uh huh. I like the electric power. I like this set better than the fairy one because fairy is just fairy. Is it, it just fairy? Yes, it's just. I fairy. could have swore I saw other cards in the fairy. Because when they're sigilive, sigilive so, only. Uh, sigilive, Garrett. And Garrettina. It's psychic and fairy. They need to stop with the psychic. There's too many psychics. Okay, so with all. This is going to be the largest set Pokemon's releasing. Okay. So, what is the three best cards out of both sets? In both sets? Yes. I know it's hard just to do the. I, I think it's clearly number one here. One, Monkey, Nine tails. and Shuckle. I think those were the three. I think you... I agree. I hate making... But I think you could make a argument for Sigilyph. Yeah. I like it. And Garantina. I like it, too. There's a lot of good cards in the set. Yep. There's... Sets. I mean, if you're looking for, like, a real quick buy list, I would pick up three Septal GX I'd say, and... i say Septals or maybe... I would say four, four, three... I don't know if it'll be a top-tier deck... I don't. I don't know. It just depends on how slow the format. Garatina for sure. Garatina pick up four for your Zark deck. Uh, Sigilyph. I think. I think be on the safe side. Go ahead and get four. Because I think it fits pretty nice in a spread deck. Mm-hmm. You think run four in the spread deck? Uh, see, what if you ran the sh this guy Shedinja, and attach it to Sigilyph, so they only get one prize. And they're probably going to get knocked out. Yeah, and they get knocked out. Can they field ball or Sigilyph? Or um, <laughs> not Sigil. Sorry, Ninja. Yeah, I think so, because you attach it Okay. as a tool. Yeah. So I bet it can be field blower. But still, attach the Ninja to Sigilyph and... You can always rescue Stretcher at back. They only get one prize. I think it's a pretty good combo. Yep. So... I think spread decks get quite a lot stronger... Giratina 4, Sigilyph 4, Shedinja, go ahead and pick up 4. Do you think you could run uh, Giratina with the spread deck too? Um, I think there's better options, because you're only doing one damage counter on 2. 
Wouldn't you rather just do flying flip or Latios? Yeah, I guess 30 so. and 30. So. Pick up four Shedinjas. Pick up four Garatinas. Pick up four Sigilif. Um, Definitely. Pick up... I say three. You think three? I think two. I think a three-two in the Gardevoir. I could see a three-three. And you don't play Sylveon or anything like that. You just play your three-two nine tails, then your four-two three, and then one Gardevoir. Or a four. And then one Prism Star. Four-two-two one. And you could even run the Zeb Strika in there to offset the loss of artillery. I told you. Striker. You could offset Octillery in the uh, Gardevoir deck with it. Because you can always get it back with its GX deck. Yep. But I like this Ultra Beast knocked out. Yeah. I think that's super strong. So get two. Caden saying three. I say at least two. I think three. Um, definitely get your four. Four. I mean, do the Curlias matter? I don't really know what the difference between that one and the other one is. I don't know, but wouldn't hurt to just get 4-4. Four, four. And then how many of uh, the, the new guard work? Two? Yeah. Just in case if you need two, like some decks would run two glades. Mm-hmm. Okay, so two. pick up two. One. One Xerneas. Um, four, if you're going to get the subtitle. Um, if you're wanting to try the Genesect deck, or core guys. Or Sceptile, then pick some up. Or Gore Guys deck. Um, pick up at least two, you think? Psychic Charm? Or just go ahead and pick up a set of four? Pick up four. Four of each. Dragon, not needed. Skip it. Pick up zero of those. Uh, Morty, I, I think. It's probably not going to be an expensive card, so just uh, replace it. Yeah. Life Force, get one. Shuckle? Four. Four. For sure get four shuckles. Four, sure, four. For sure, four. Rizian, go ahead and get zero. <laughs> uh, get four of the new Slugma. Macargo, three. Get three of the new Macargo GX. Skip. Musharna, go ahead and skip. It's not Musharna. It is closer to Musharna. <laughs> Look at the top two cards. That's like Musharna. It does not say look at the top three, like puzzle. But do you grab one? You grab one and then you put the the other ones back in any order. <laughs> There's only one order. Exactly. <laughs> so you put it back in that order. In that one of order. Mm-hmm. So, glad we agree on that. Zeb Shrika, where are we at here? I say 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two line? Yeah. That sounds good. He's definitely good, folks. I know we kind of brushed over him, but uh, that ability every single turn to just... Uh, you thought it was pretty just, bad. I was joking. I was being sarcastic. It's good, folks. Zep Strike is good. Mm-hmm. Yellow four. Monkey, get four because... Uh, it could be its own deck. Yeah, it's going to be its own deck to counter uh, the metal stuff and all that. So. so it counters a nice of everything. So get four. If you're looking to play it in Rayquaza, get two, but... Uh, you have to anticipate all the fairy hate or the the fairy being super good so probably would be a lot of hate on fairy yeah there's definitely going to be a lot of hate on fairy decks yeah so but if you get a wild hair and you think oh, I can make it work for Rayquaza then get two of them but if not you like us he's a standalone deck get four moving on Genesect um I say it's the same as Sceptile depends on your opinion if you think it's going to be good or not so pick up three three or four three or four if uh if you're feeling like uh you can metal i i I think we're definitely going to get three Mm -hmm. because it's going to be your best option against uh the fairy stuff i think genesect hasn't really done me wrong got me top 32 and my first deck to play so all right, so ditto. Nice ditto. Dido, pick up one. I put it was slime. Pick up four electric powers. Pick up four ultra balls. <laughs> Counter gain. How many do you recommend? Just grab your place set. Grab four. Grab four choice man. Uh, judge. Definitely I mean, a stadium. 
definitely one of Stadium, DC. And that's what we got. Pass on the unit energy. So it's a huge set, largest ever. I like it. A lot of good cards. Um, I don't really like the fairy set. Really, the only uh, game changers. It's going to be a huge change. Oh, it's going to be a huge change. A couple. Okay. So, but yeah, go ahead and get the uh, Gardevoirs off the uh, shelf there and dust them off. Get them ready. Go ahead and proxy your 3-2 nine tails, and then just start destroying everybody. 3-2. What you going to do? So, you got anything else there, nerd? Uh, no. No. Dancing Bear is out folks yep all right be excellent to each other party on dudes